Hello everyone, my name is Agura and today I'm recording this video from the Echo studio in Sweden, from the Race to World First venue. And that's also what the video is about. So people have been asking why I'm casting for Echo, uh, aren't you part of Liquid, what is going on, are you betraying Liquid, are you now an Echo fan, what is happening, do you hate Liquid now? And I'm here to answer your questions. <laughs> All right, so let me explain this. So um, I have been casting the Race Wolf First for a really long time. Obviously, before that, I was also part of the Race Wolf First myself, playing with a lot of uh, players that are now playing in Echo, uh, formerly um, Method, the, the guild that I was in. And um, yeah, I'm casting the race now. I'm a freelance caster, which means I'm not currently part of an organization at all. And I can basically like i get offers from the orcs that they're looking for casters and then my agent will be talking to them negotiate with them and i'll usually end up casting for whichever team has a better offer or whichever team i want to cast with for uh, with that uh, in that race now for a while i was part of the liquid organization as a content creator what does that mean well uh, usually organizations um, are inviting content creators to be part of their org to advertise for their sponsors. And usually the way uh, that works is that you have a monthly payment that you get. And of course, again, negotiating the contract with that org. And then you join the org, you're part of that team and you're getting paid usually monthly and that you advertise and do certain things for them, certain obligations, depending on what you put in the contract. Now, when I was part of Liquid, as a content creator, not as a raider of the guild, they also put in a contract that I'm that I have to cast for them uh, during the race of all first. So not only uh, was I advertising for their sponsors, I also was obligated to cast for them for the race of all first, and I was not allowed to cast for any other team, which makes a lot of sense. It would be really awkward if I was part of an of liquid and then cast for echo right <laughs> so it made a lot of sense and i agreed to those terms whenever i joined liquid as an orc now when i joined liquid as an orc i joined for my stream for my content creator part of my career as i'm casting is more of a secondary thing for me and the fact that i had to cast for liquid was not really a problem for me now a lot of people are saying oh but when you're casting for a team you have to be a, like a fan of that team right and you must hate the other team but that is in my opinion not how it works at all and maybe there's some casters who really want to cast for a certain um team that they're big fans of and they don't necessarily want to cast for the other team but for me personally i know players uh from both guilds and i know people behind the scenes from both guilds i've worked with liquid i've also worked with echo before even before this race um i casted for them in sanctum of domination for example, and I've worked with a lot of the casters from both teams as well, and also with people from behind the scenes too, from production and whatnot. So I basically am um, know and am familiar with lots of people from from all of the teams, even you know from Method and from other guilds as well. So I'm not necessarily somebody that is um, like a diehard fan of one guild and hates the other team. <laughs> I um, I love the race of first and I love following it, but um, whenever I I'm into like an esport or any kind of sport. I'm more of a fan of the competitive aspect of it. I love the competition. And because I know people from, from all guilds and I am friends with people from all guilds, I don't necessarily root for one team in particular, at least not generally speaking. Now, once I decide to cast for a certain team, then of course I will be rooting for that team because I'm casting for them. And uh, being there is of course, it of course means for me that I would be happy if that team wins. But yeah, generally speaking, I'm not like a diehard Liquid fan and I hate the other team or the other way around. I am uh, happy if anyone wins as long as it's a close race and as long as um, it's enjoyable to, to follow the race and to watch. And I'm just happy that the Race to World First exists because when I was part of the Race to World First, it was a very small thing. It wasn't streamed. It wasn't broadcasted. And back then as a player, I felt like the biggest dream for me would be if the Race of the First became like an actual bigger thing and became an eSport. That was always like my dream when I was playing. And then I stopped playing a Race of the First and became a caster and now it is this big thing. And I'm just really genuinely happy for the competitors and for the players that they can live in a world where this is actually a thing and they're actually earning some money and uh, getting something out of this race because they're so passionate about it and they put so much time and effort into this race and uh, yeah i'm just really happy for the players not a 
you know, I'm not hoping for any particular team to to like win and for another one to lose. I'm just really um, there for the race and for the competition. And that's why I'm casting for whichever team I currently feel like and maybe get even a better offer from or whatever is currently going on. Now, of course, the big downside for me as uh, someone that is from Europe, if I cast for Liquid, I have to fly all the way over to California, which is a big time difference. First of all, it's a long travel. And then it's also like a really big time difference for me, which is honestly very bad for me for streaming because I'm not only casting uh, during the race world first, I'm also really busy as a content creator during that time because I have to rate myself with my own guilt and I also have to create as much content as possible, be it streaming, but also I'm creating guides and YouTube videos and other content. And that takes a lot, lot of time and effort. And uh, when there's nine hours of time difference, then I have to stream at hours where I usually do not stream, like maybe the middle of the night in Europe um, because I'm over in California. And that uh, hurts my, uh, my stream. And it also hurts my other content outside of streaming because I probably have jet lag. I can't sleep properly. Uh, I'm exhausted totally. And uh, yeah, so whenever I'm in LA or in California for, for these races, I felt like I felt really exhausted and the, the time difference just really bothered me. And now if I cast for Echo, I'm of course in Europe, which is a, an upside when it comes to that regard. So it's always like a little bit of a back and forth and, um, you know, want to... Uh, I want to be in Europe, in Europe, but also need to consider the offers that um, I get from these orgs. Because as I said, I'm, I don't mind casting for either team, really, or even for a third team. I mean, if um, another team would ask me, I would even cast for them as well. It's just a, a back and forth, right? And another reason why I'm casting for Echo this time around is because um, I left Liquid as an org um, earlier this year. So in April, I left uh, Liquid as an organization. So I'm not part of Liquid anymore as a streamer, as a content creator. That doesn't mean I can't cast for Liquid anymore. I did, in fact, actually get an offer for uh, to cast for Liquid for this race as well. Um, but because I've been in Liquid for, for a couple of races now and I didn't even have the option to cast for Echo, I felt like this was a great opportunity for me to cast for Echo because I'm now free to cast for them. I'm actually allowed to do so. And I have not casted for Echo in person before. The last time I casted for them, it was an online event during COVID. It was Sanctum of Domination. And I did enjoy casting uh, that event for them. But of course, it being online is completely different than if you uh, meet the people, meet the casters, meet the players. And uh, yeah, I've been having a great time here. It is, of course, uh, different to how it was in uh, uh, for casting for Liquid in the Alienware facility in California. And it's a different experience, And uh, but I love being here. I'm very, very glad that Echo asked me to cast for them. And I'm having a great time. It's for sure different experiences. And I just love to be able to cast for both teams and the fact that both of them uh, are interested uh, to having me. And yeah. Uh, for the future, I don't really know what's going to happen. Uh, that's something I'll think about when the next race comes by. And yeah, that's just my situation right now. Not necessarily, a, as I said, TLDR, uh, not part of Liquid anymore as a content creator. I'm a freelance caster. I can cast for whoever I want as long as they you know, offer me a spot for their casting slots, casting teams. And um, yeah. Whatever happens in the future, I don't know yet. I'll keep you updated for the next race. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know who you're rooting for. And let me know how you follow the race to well first. Like, are you personally like a diehard fan of one team and you're not necessarily a fan of the other team? Or are you just watching the race and are happy to, uh, to you know, sit back and watch? Or how are you feeling about this whole thing? Because, yeah, as I said, I personally, um, either team wins... I'm happy for them, and if I'm casting for a team, of course, I'm slightly rooting for them more, but uh, <laughs> I am just happy that the competition exists and the race will first is really a really cool thing to follow. And as the closer it is, the better, of course, because the most important thing about this whole thing is my viewing experience. And of course, my viewing experience is better the closer it is. <laughs> Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope this cleared some things up. If you have any more questions, ask in the comments below. Otherwise, you can always come over to my stream at twitch.tv slash Nagura and ask any more questions you have there. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for uh, more World of Warcraft videos or just talking videos like this. And have a nice rest of your day and bye-bye.